Hi, this is Lam from Pronop Commerce. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get free SSL certificate and set it up for your Nop Commerce store. In this example, we are going to set it up on Azure, but the same steps should apply on all hostings. To begin, please go to zerossl.com and click on online tools. Start the free SSL certificate visit. The first step is to enter your domain. Remember to accept all the terms. The wizard will ask you if you want to generate certificate for www subdomain. We want to in most cases, so we'll click yes. The wizard will first generate a certificate request. You need to copy or save the file. It's actually not needed, so you can just copy and ignore. Now click next again to generate an account key. Again, this is not needed, so just copy and ignore. Click next again. You now need to set up verification files to make sure you are the owner of the domain. As per instruction, you need to create two files with specific file name and file content and put it at a specified folder of your domain. Note that the files do not have any file extension such as .txt, which can cause some problems for sp.net MVC application like Commerce. We'll touch on this point later. Now comes the tricky part. To make MVC serve static content that does not have a file extension, we need to make use of web.config to do some kind of mapping. There's a link to download this file in the description. So download the file and paste it in the same folder. Try accessing the files to make sure they are all good. In the last step of the wizard, download the two generated files. These are the certificates in Base64 encoded format. You'll need these two files later. The next step is to turn the files into PFX format, which is what Windows system uses for certificates. We need an SSL converter to do the job. The link is in the description. We need to convert from PEM to PFX and upload domain-crt.txt and domain-key.txt that we have downloaded earlier. Also, you need to set a password for this certificate. Click convert to download your password protected certificate. Now head over to Azure and upload the certificate Enter the exact password that you have entered in last step. You also need to bind the certificate to the domain by clicking Add Binding. Refresh the page to make sure bindings are applied successfully. The last step is to go to Knob Commerce to activate secure URL. Note that I'm using version 2.7, which is a pretty old version of Knob Commerce. The setting has been moved to Stores page. 
In any case, you need to tick use SSL and enter the appropriate URL, which usually is just changing HTTP to HTTPS. Now we are all set and your store is now protected by SSL. Note that this is a free solution, so you need to regenerate a new certificate every 3 months. But that's not too bad considering it only takes 10 minutes of your life for every 3 months. Okay, that's all for this video. Let me know in the comments what you want to learn about NotCommerce. Also remember to subscribe to my mailing list to get notified about future tutorials. Bye!